This is Anand Vijit. I'm a 2024 pass out from the stream of computer science. Yeah, I said I want to be an engineer. Like I want to be a part of engineer that make things and all. Why did you choose Embedded Systems and why did you join MRZ? My branch was computer science. So after the college, I was in a situation like I was placed in a company, but there was an uncertainty in the joining. So I thought of upskilling myself. So I should take a decision which course should I go. Research about data science, web development, embedded, and all. I like to make things, so I felt that embedded will be a perfect choice. Also, embedded is a field that AI can't replace. What was the hardest part you faced when you started learning this program? The difficult part was like. I was one of the guy who enjoyed every bit of college life. I didn't study. I attended a few classes only. My proper class was during the plus one or plus two. I was in a doubt that can I sit in a class four hours study? I was in a situation should can I go for it? Can I attend the class? And get into a routine was a bit difficult, but I was able to do it in a short span of time. How did Emergy's course structure? help you understand complex topics and projects i think the course structure is perfectly and like 3 months was like c and you will get a lot of time to think about how the programming works and the next month is of ds module and you you will get how you how the thing you studied can be applied into the programming and after that the mc module so the course structure is perfectly aligned apart from that you will get a lot of assignments and projects do along with it i think it will build the skills in a exponential manner at what point did you start to feel confident that you have become industry ready yeah the turning point was when i saw when i started applying for of campus placement i was having a zero portfolio just right after my college the first thing i did was like building my portfolio after the c module i did a lot of projects i got a confidence that i have something in my portfolio so i started applying for of campus applied for one company and i cleared the test get into the second round but i missed a lot of points when i researched researched about it it was basically from the li module i got the rejection mail at the t- same time i got the offer letter which in which the company i was placed in the, from from my college i didn't get any time to grieve the next day i asked an advice to my mentor he said you, if you can if you can study a little bit more about li module you can easily clear the interview he told me to attend an interview for tomorrow that was tells you i was able to study the socket programming part which was important for tells you in the interview they asked many questions on i was able to clear it how did projects at mrz build your capability in becoming industry ready project starts from the basic the first project is address book it's a simple project but to design it from the scratch is a it's a difficult one first i used the skeleton code they have given for the upcoming projects i designed my own skeleton code i understood that designing part is the most the toughest part in the project after that uh, when i designed the skeleton code of my own i was able to do my own projects my own personal projects as well as i was able to do their projects in a fast manner did assignments and projects influence your interview performance yeah, yeah you are having a lot of assignments here like 54 54 or something start from the basic and gradually it goes on uh, the toughness goes on increasing even if the assignment is easy try to do to your own like don't use chat gpt even the last assignment can be easily go- get from the internet or chat gpt thought of not doing from chat gpt because it won't help you during the interview i didn't came here to complete the assignments i came to upskill myself i thought of not u- using the chat gpt for this purpose and also for the projects what was your reaction when you first heard about getting the chelsea opportunity i got the news i have i'm having in the interview the very previous day uh, so i didn't get any time to think at the same day i attended the mock interview then i after i went to pg i started studying i didn't get any time to think if i'm ready or not any lessons during your course that helped you during your interviews i can say basically two basic skills what well, the one was understanding the programming from the fundamental core perspective because i was able to understand during the c module i got the time to think how programming works and the other thing was like confidence it was my first time attending other state students the my language was not so good before joining the mrc i slowly start up building the confidence and at the time 
during the interview i was having the core understanding of the programming as well as i'm having the conference what advice would you give to beginners aspiring in embedded systems who feel uncertain if you have a passion towards embedded just go for it i, I was having a passion towards uh, making up small things so i went for embedded so go for your passion if you have the passion you will have the urge to study on that field once you join the course you have came to upskill yourself avoid all the distraction just focus on yourself just for 6 months try to do everything by yourself project is one method of showing yourself you have the knowledge on that topic or something if you are doing a project on something uh, you should have the proper knowledge on every part of that project if you try to do many project you will have a lot of coding experience one point or the other you will get the flow like you are writing an english you will write the c code uh, if you have time try to do personal project as well but don't compromise the project that that has given to you from the institution if you have time if you can parallelly do with it you can go for it so you will have a satisfaction that you are doing my own project or something how was your interview experience including any challenges or setbacks i think it was medium or something he told that he don't want a brute force approach he want the most optimized manner i was having an experience on lead code so i was able to crack that question after that he asked the register level bit level question i was also able to handle that then after that he asked more about socket programming some questions was tough some questions was simple but in a depth manner he asked how can we know that two computers are connected i was able to answer that I was able to clear that what does securing a job at chelsea mean to you looking back on your journey i went through a lot of phases like college life it was very good and after that i took a time to study properly upskill and i got placed from a company but when i got placed in chelsea it feels different because something i earned something that i got from the lot of struggles that i went through so i'm happy what's the one do and one don't you advise anyone succeed in their career one basic thing like for uh, in the case of attendance uh, there's a percentage you should not consider percentage as a criteria to take leave you should consider you, you are going to miss the flow in the college it was like a percentage matters here the flow matters